What's up, everybody? This is Angry Hippie Lady, and you may recognize this, you may not if you're newer. I don't know when I did the half hearted review thingy. Um, it's probably been. I think I did it in 2016. Anyway, that doesn't matter. So, this is Bear With Me. And, um, as you can see over here, and I originally requested this game um, from the developer because it was like I thought it was going to be something completely different <laughs> but it still caught my eye and just the 30 or odd minutes that I played it I was like I gotta play more of this um I don't wanna yeah new game um <laughs> it's like I wanna continue I wanna start anew because it has been so long every once in a while I'll get a half hearted review game where I'll be like, I gotta play that. Like, I've actually got to go back to it and play it all the way through. That doesn't happen too often. I mean, we get plenty of decent games, but it's very hard to find a game that's like, that grabs me and is like, I need to play this. And this game was definitely one of. What's going on? I don't remember that. That was creepy. Miss, wake up, please. Miss, wake up. I feel like the sounds are a little bit quiet. It seems to have saved my sound settings from when I last played it, but oh, it's so quiet. Yeah. So fluffy and comfortable. Oh. Bless. Millie. Talk to Millie. It seems you had a nightmare. There was this fire. There was fi- I don't know if that was fire. It looked more like just red fog. <laughs> it didn't really look like fire to me, but maybe it was. Yeah, I but I can handle nightmares. Never mind that now, Millie. What are you doing here? Is everything okay? Oh no, miss. Something terrible is happening down in Paper City. I came here as soon as I could. I wanted to warn you and your brother not to go there, but when we arrived, I could only find you. Mm -hmm. What do you mean? Miss, I'm afraid your brother is missing. I have to go find Flint. Millie, you stay here and rest. I'll come and check up Perfect on you later. Perfect timing for that Please, lightning. before you go around looking for your brother, miss, go and find Mr. Bear and ask him to come along. He's retired now, but he was always so fond of you. I'm sure he'll help you out. He may not be an easygoing man, but he has a kind heart. Ted? I know where he is. He has a small office in my closet, but Ted and I, we can't work together anymore. Mostly because I'm still smart and driven and he's become a burnout. I haven't seen him since he left the city. But whatever falling out you two had, I beg you to reconcile. I think I can find my brother on my own. Okay, Millie, I'll go ask okay, him. Okay, Millie, I'll go ask him. But I'm not sure if he'll even hear me out. We left off on a really bad note. It's a shame you two aren't working together anymore. You were always such good friends. But for your sake, miss, please don't go wandering around alone. There is something else I haven't told you about. The reason I came all the way down here there is this man that came down to Paper City a week ago. He's asking a lot of questions about you. What man? We call him the Red Man. Red Man? There were a lot of fires down in the city this past week, ever since he showed up. The maybe officials are burying their heads in the fire. sand, while this man has an entire city, your city, miss, cowering in fear. Well... Paper City Police Department isn't known for its heroic head-on approach to crime fighting. The mayor and the commissioner have issued a city-wide lockdown until all of this is sorted out. A lot of people are escaping the city. We managed to escape through the East Tunnel's maintenance route, but most of the exits are closed off now. You said we escaped. Is someone else here with you? The Mugshot Boys helped me through the East Tunnel, bless their hearts. We arrived at Flint's room, but he this wasn't there, so I came here to, to wake you all up. At once. I have to go now, Millie. Holy crap. I'll be back as soon as I can to come check on you. 
Do you need anything? I'm fine, little miss. I just need to rest, is all. Please, before you go out, find Mr. Bear and ask him to come along. Alright, so Mr. Bear is in my closet, but let me look around a little bit first. Yeah. It's filled with mysterious and magical things from the far corners um, of the Orient. So, right off the bat, I'm trying to figure out if we are still dreaming. I don't because really need glasses, but maybe they'll come in handy. Yeah, you better, better take grab them those. with me just in case. Yeah, I would grab them. Um, but Millie is is more than likely a stuffed animal of mine. I've read all of these. Some of my favorites are The Adventures of Who Done It. Done It like almost gets whacked. There is no I in crime except for that one. And Love in <laughs> Other Words, a dictionary review. Um. Early bird cornflakes. I like to eat them in the evening, completely disregarding their overly advertised intended use. Man, look, if you want cereal at night, you have you some cereal, girl. You do you. I've read I'm so all proud of, of you. Some of my favorites are Boomerang, What Goes Around Comes Around, The Island of the Monkeys, and <laughs> Staring Down the Barrel, A Drunkard's Tale. An extensive collection of colored pencils I acquired over the years. All right, what about this? What is going it's on? It's not here? working, but that's okay. I can't tell the time, anyways. Man, me neither. I always get confused. Look, I used to be able to read these clocks, and now I always get confused. But that also raises the the you know the question of if we're still in a dream or not, because supposedly you're not supposed to. It's either you're not supposed to be able to see clocks, or clocks don't work in dreams, supposedly. There's a lot of that, you know. It's all about the birds and the bees. And stuff how the birds about like how, you know, you're not supposed to be able to insects. read books and all that. But anyway. Uh, radio? Yeah, let's touch it. Touch the radio. You are a long ways off. Okay. Apparently Just the radio doesn't work. I still have an unpacked properly. So we recently moved here? Yeah, go touch the case. She looks so concerned. Oh, dude. I'm an adult, and I want that. I want something that I can just, like, poke. Like, a little shelf under my bed that I can just poke. And it's like, I give you things. But not the monster under your bed. Because the monster under your bed is a real thing, and you should be very, very worried. I mean, um, there's totally nothing I'll just pick this up. under your bed. You never know when it might come in handy. The boogeyman is not real you should not have a thing of salt beside your bed for the ghostesses everything will be okay <laughs> amber ashworth if i had a nickel for every time this broad got me into trouble i'd be neck deep in nickels right now <laughs> something was different this time oh i could I feel it in the air someone really put the scares on her Despite her fragile appearance, Amber's a tough kid, so it was unusual to see her like this. See me like what? She starts talking, and I start pretending I don't care. I told her I'm tired, for good this time. Aww. Fell on deaf ears again. She looks so pitiful. I like her anyway, haircut. Though. She starts talking about Millie, Paper City, than mine. her brother, and all that jazz. And I'm wondering how many times we've gone through this before. You see, we have this routine where she asks me for help, as she always does. And I play hard to get, as I always do. Eventually, I give in. Then what's the point of going through all this rigmarole? We've done this so many times, I've lost count. She knows the drill, so do <laughs> I. Might as well no. just hear her out. Her words ring through my office. They get stuck in this haze around my head, and then they get lost in the cold autumn rain outside, tapping on my window in this hypnotic manner. It's calming in a way, or is it the booze that makes me calm? Both, dude. Rain Not much to do when you're is tired. the most Hobbies were never my cup of tea. amazing thing. I know her standing in my doorway with her lady in distress. I heard it's even better on bad news for me. Anyway, yet I know. I'm in for it again. The sun is slowly setting and the rain gets heavy. 
the news said their little story. God, I love this. The old comic style thing. I finally moved my cursor out of the way, and it's over. <laughs> Hi, Ted. Yep. I heard you've retired, but... Cut the ceremony, doll. I ain't doing it. Doing what? Whatever little plan you've schemed up this time to ruin my life. Your bad news, doll. Always were. Do me a solid this time, and leave me But out. you're my Ted. I'm busy. You're my I knew you help me. I only asked because Millie insisted you come along. Millie? Are we investigating old wives' tales now? It's getting late, doll. Shouldn't you be in bed? That's none of your business. I was already in bed. You're making too much noise. My birthday's coming up. Uh, I was already in bed. I was in bed. Millie woke me up. Well, Actually, I had a nightmare that woke her me to help up. You out then. So, you're saying I should ask an old blind woman to help me out? Oh, that Millie's old broad is tougher than she looks. Now, if you don't mind, I have some real work to do. Oh my God! You're still man, mad at me after all tough. this time. I really need your help, and I old man strength is like for real a thing. Mad? Why would I old be mad? Old people strength is a real thing. I was thing. almost thrown into a wood chipper thanks to you. I was lucky. One of the guys we investigated is in my bird watching, uh, poker and cigar club. <laughs> and where were you? You ran off. I was following a lead. Um, somewhere else. Yeah. What'd you found out? Not much. Not a goddamn thing. Whoa, Listen language. All, I've got a nice little setup. Hey, kids game. Lately, I've been doing some tailing work for jealous husbands down in the city. It's not really a kids Bunch game. Bunch of nervous train wrecks, but the money is good. <laughs> as far I'm as I know. I'm tired of throwing bloated toys out of Dredge River. I don't know, it could be. I don't know it's rating. That whole thing, it's behind us. It belongs in the past. Capiche? You've been practicing this speech, haven't you? A little bit. How was it? Terrible. It was okay. The part about the bodies was a bit much. I threw that in for dramatic effect. It wasn't in the original draft, though. No, no, it was good. It gets the point across. Does it really? You're still here, and I still have a lot of work to do. Uh, do we really have to do this again? You owe me rinse. We really have to do, do this Do we again. really have to do this whole bit again? Fine. This is dragging on for way too long. It's past my office out. What's this nonsense all about anyways? So, according to Millie, a lot of things are happening down in Paper City lately. What things? Like, all sorts of bad things. And there's this guy that's responsible. According to Millie? The mayor has issued a citywide lockdown. No one is allowed to leave or enter the city limits until all of this is sorted out. They've managed to escape through the East Tunnel maintenance route. But I think that's been closed off, too. They? Millie and the Paper Town Orchestra. Millie and Paper City's Paper Mache Association. Millie and the Wine and Cheese of the Month Club. Millie and the Bird Watchers of the World. Millie and the Paper City. Oh, I can't remember what she said. Oh my gosh, I gotta actually remember what she said. Bird Watchers of the World. Um, yeah. Millie and the Bird Watchers of the World? What? The BWOW is here? But they all went north last month. It's yellow cardinal season and an early start. I mean, what? I never heard of those yet. Uh huh. What in the hell are you talking about? Are you making this up? Yeah, sorry. The mugshot boys helped her out. That was I even there! That was I not an option. What's not to like? the fact that they're How was I supposed to get that right? If that's not even an option. The from a baby once. The heck. But wasn't game that baby an jerk? undercover cop? Well, yeah, it was. But they didn't know that. Now, did they? Anyways, they helped her escape the city through the East Tunnel, the one that leads to Flint's room, and she said he wasn't there. She believes he's gone missing. I need to go and check on Flint. Maybe he's still in the house, but Millie doesn't want me to go alone. She says it's possible for the Red Man to have found an exit to my house. She's really scared. Wait, what Red Man? She was telling me about this man, dressed completely in red. He came down to Paper City recently and was asking questions about me. He's asking questions about you? What's so interesting about you? Hey. I'll have you know, there are a lot of people out there who find me interesting. Millie is really scared of this man. I can't leave anything to chance. 
Will you help me out? Please. Whoa there, sugar cup. Even if I come along, and I'm still thinking that one over. I'm afraid a crucial component that'll help in our future investigation is missing. Your nose, <laughs> your hat, your left shoe, my brother, your nose, your hat, your hat. No, I'm phasing that one out. Your magnifier? That's right, doll face. Now be a good assistant magnifier. and you'll find it for me. I'm sorry, your assistant? You know what I mean. You think Maybe I'm your assistant? Also, I have a really big closet. Like, the closet should in here, but no, it keeps going. <laughs> oh man, alright. I really feel like I don't own enough shoes. And no, it's not a stereotype. It's just a fact. I own way too many shoes. I have like three pairs. Wait, is that too many? I, I got this for Flint with my own money. It's some guardian superhero. And two of them are flip flops because depressing story arc. I don't like feet jail. Feet jail is not my not my thing, yo. Mask? It's my field hockey mask. My friend Jason wants to borrow it. As far as I'm concerned, he can have it. What's the worst that can happen? Oh yeah, it's Jason! You know, it's no big deal if he has a, has a hockey mask. You, you want to give him a machete while you're at it? Because I'm pretty sure Jason would love to have a machete. What? Those must be Ted's. Probably. Probably. These are my clothes. The colors are more on the bright side, but I can't help it. I love vivid colors. Oh, adorable. Nope. Nope. Okay. Touch. <laughs> what you gonna do about that? Cough cup. It says FBI on it. I bet it stands for Federal Bear Investigation. No. Touch. I bet this glue will be useful. Better take it with me. Mm, I'm gonna have to use the Left glasses that I got purposes. and the glue to make a magnifying glass because I didn't see a magnifying it glass It makes this in there. place look like a proper office. So, yeah. Seems like Ted's onto something here. Alright, can I touch that? Alright, let's turn the music bell on. It's like really crazy quiet. Okay. That's better. Can I touch the phone? No. Can I touch that? No. Can I touch Ted's desk? Well, yeah, let's just look at it. It serves as a support for his heavy head when what? he passes out. Oh. Yeah, let's look at Ted. It's just Ted. He looks mad. If looks could kill, am I right? Man, Ted looks like he's seen some crap. Those are the eyes of a man or a, a teddy bear that has seen some serious crap happen. Well, since this office is in my closet, that window there is for purely decorative purposes. Where's the light coming from, though? Your imagination. Alright. Um, yeah, let's go back to Amber. That's my name. I was trying to figure out what my name was. I'm Amber. Okay. Hmm. This is my bed. There are many beds like this, but this one is mine. No. Oh. Touch it. Go touch the plant. It's gonna, like, fall apart. Folium cadent. When was the last time I watered this? Oh, that's right, I didn't. It's really hanging in there. Hey, some plants don't need a lot of water. Well, <laughs> oh, oh. Ugh. Uh, that's why I I get like cacti and stuff, even though I'm scared of cacti. Cacti are scary. You guys Since don't I'm even understand. For the view, I might have as a fear of cacti. It. I that's use the person who just bought aloe, which sometimes. is. Unlike most a non prickly cacti, like which makes it okay. On a cold autumn day under a warm it's the needles. I can't people. stand the needles. It's just this. Are you saying cacti. words? She's still saying words. Could you? Could you chill on? Hey, Millie, do you know anything about some magnifying? Uh, can you tell me something about this man? Can you tell me something more about yeah. this man? I'm afraid I don't know much, Miss Amber. Only stories here and there, plus what the paper has been covering. So far, I know he's been asking around about you, and that he's responsible for all the terrible things happening in the city lately. 
Yeah. You said that this red man is asking questions about me. Oh, once Why? again, perfectly timed. I'm not lightning. sure, but you might be red in man. danger, miss. This man's done I was gonna start thundering IRL. Things since he only got like one crash, and it's done. In only one week, he's got everyone, including the police department, hiding and running in fear. Okay, Millie. Um. Yeah, let's go touch the radio. Any way to make a magnifier? I, I got stuck. Here. I never. I broke my mom's glasses. I better find use for this lens now. I never got past this point. Come on. I can't use that. Come on. Come on. Yeah. I can't use that. I don't think so. Hmm. Okay. Got a battery, sticky glue, what, oh, stickies glue. I was like, what other kind of glue is there? I don't, you know what, don't answer that question. I don't want to know your answers. I think I'm gonna be okay without knowing your answers. Okay. Is there anything else I can pick up? The tools I, or. It's all about the bird. Yeah, let's do the, what's in the drawer? I need something to put the lens on. Oh, that's right. I remember playing with this a couple of days ago. It fell on the floor and the lens broke. I'll take the magnifier with me, but I better repair it before I return it to Ted. Oh, are there any other drawers that I can go into? Yes, yes. Okay, so how, oh wait. Oh yeah, I, okay. We're good magnifier. Sticky glue. There we go. Now I just Shush. Voila! Yeah. A perfect crime. Ted will never know. Oh, I'm sure he's gonna know. He's, he is, uh, Detective Bear on the case. I was about to say, if you're not gonna go in there, I'll end the episode right now. I'm still gonna end the episode because I got a moment right now. And I don't know how much more exposition is gonna be going on. So thank you all for watching the first episode of Bear With Me. Let me know what you think in the comments below. And in all the following comment or comment section, yeah, videos, whatever. You know what I mean. <laughs> I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out, everyone.